Hello everybody, this is my monster in a box, aka my great beast. Right now he's sleeping, but uh, let's wake him up and see what happens. Okay, lucky for us, he fell back asleep. If you want to build your own crate beast, the first thing you'll need is a crate. My crate's 30 inches by 24 inches by 18 and a half inches. It has four side panels and a lid. Each of these are built from some cedar fence pickets and some one by threes. The four panels are screwed to some two by twos, and then the lid is hinged along the back. To keep the crate square and from falling apart under its own vibration, I put these shelf brackets in the corners. Here's the finished crate. It looks a little bland. It's time to put some lettering on it so it looks like a real shipping crate. To do that, I laser cut some stencils and took the crate to the backyard and spray painted the stencils onto the crate. I think it looks a lot better now. Let's take a look at the pneumatics. To shake the lid, I'm using a two inch single action spring return cylinder. To open the lid, I'm using a 12 inch double action cylinder that's only plumbed on one side. Finally, to push the monster up out of the crate, I'm using a 12 inch double action cylinder that's been plumbed on both sides. Here's what it looks like from the monster's point of view. Up next is the lighting. I just used some inexpensive LED strips and these 45 degree mounting brackets. Along the bottom of the crate are three red LED strips. These kind of give the crate a glow while the monster is asleep. Along the top edge of the crate are three white LED strips. These strips flash like a strobe light after the monster has been woken up. These six strips of LEDs go back to two lighting controllers I built. Each lighting controller has a 16-bit PIC24 microcontroller on it. The PIC24 can be programmed to blink the LEDs and PWM dim the LEDs in different patterns. For sound, I'm using a little soundboard I found on the internet. To the left of the soundboard is a board with some opto isolators on it that interface the soundboard to the PLC that's running the show. The audio output from the soundboard goes backstage to an amplifier and then the amplifier drives some speakers that are hidden behind the crate. Finally, the whole show is controlled by a PLC. Here's what the PLC looks like before it's been fully wired. On the left is a 24 volt power supply for driving the pneumatics. Next to it is a 12 volt power supply for the lights and sound. Then some terminal blocks for distributing the 120 volts AC to the various power supplies. To the right of the terminal blocks are the PLC. First, a power supply for the PLC. Second, the PLC itself and last, an output expansion module to add more outputs to the PLC. Here's what the PLC looks like with everything connected. That's my Monster in a Box or Crate Beast. Thanks for watching.